Hi, my name is Cassandra and welcome to Cadence Cloth. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crop top with, out of a tank top and the finish on the bottom is going to be an alternate one to the ruffle crop top that I did previously. You can also use this finish on the twist bandeau uh, to finish off the edges. So if you would like to find out how, stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a line across on the tank top where you want to cut it to make it a crop top. Make sure that this line is equal all the way around the tank top. Once the tank top is the length that you want it, um, make sure that you measure your elastic all the way around and make sure it's the tightness that you want. And then you're gonna wanna actually measure the width of the elastic. Mine was 3 eighths of an inch. So take that measurement and you'll wanna draw a line, that elastic measurement away from your first line. So mine was 3 eighths, so I did 3 eighths and then another 3 eighths after that so that there's enough room to sew the elastic on and then fold it over and sew it from there. From here, you'll just wanna cut it. Uh, make sure that you do it one layer at a time so that it's even all the way around. So here I am just showing the two lines after it's cut and I'm just going to show you that the elastic fits on both sections that I have drawn. So after that you're going to want to actually sew the two elastic ends together. Make sure that it's even all the way around and it's not twisting anywhere. From here, take the end that you sewed and then grab the other end that is directly opposite to it and you'll want to pin it to mark it or draw um, with chalk to mark it. And then you'll want to take the complete opposite corners and mark those as well. So you just fold the elastic in half the opposite way and make sure that the pin that you just made was in the very middle. So then you'll want to um, pin one of those pin markings to the side seam and then do it on the exact opposite side seam within, with the exact opposite pin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the tank top in half and mark right in the center front and the center back of the tank top. So I folded it in half one way, marked it on the fold, and then folded it in half the other way and marked it on that fold. At this point, you're just going to want to um, pin the pin markings to the markings that you made when you folded the tank top in half. And this is what it will look like when it's all pinned all the way around. From here what you'll want to do is you'll want to sew it with a zigzag stitch all the way around, making sure that the fabric is straightened out as you go. So stretch the elastic and straighten out the fabric as you go. And that's what it will look like when it's finished. And at this point, you're going to want to actually just fold it over um, directly over from the elastic and sew at one quarter of an inch with a zigzag stitch. I used a bit of a wider stitch to uh, make it look okay from the front because I think it looked better for me. Um, but you can do whatever you would like. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Make sure to check out the supplies in the down bar or check out our blog at cadencecloth.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching.